got something to say and I always got something to say I always got something to say I'm always gonna have something to say I'm going What up, S. Fam, and I'm back with another video. Um, I ain't been on here for like three weeks. You're in my business? Yeah, don't do that. Because I checked the date of my last videos three weeks ago. That, that happens to me a lot. It happens to me a lot. Not a lot, a lot, but often, often. I'll say often because it just be those moments. Like stress weighs in and it just takes over me. You get what I'm saying? And then I'll be like, I had three videos. I literally had three videos and I deleted all three. Because I didn't like the way I looked in the videos. I was like, oh, my head is too big in that video. And I don't like the way my body looked in that position in that video. And it was just annoying. I deleted them because I don't want to force content that I don't like. Um, as time goes on, the people who stick it out with me and are watching, thank you so much. And I want to offer quality. But I do not regret none of my videos i can't because you'll see the elevation through all of them even continuing on up to my necklace my little <laughs> you'll see the video as continuing on right now it is almost well i wouldn't say my bedtime my daughter's but it's almost her bedtime so after i done did a slight clean to the house because not an intensive clean i can only do that when she's in school but after i did like a a slight clean a slight uh wipe down of things and all of that and she took her shower i'm fresh out the shower <laughs> i'm fresh out the shower now i could sit down and do a video um at first let me tell y'all how much i overthink i have a type a personality anybody else who have a type a personality will know exactly what i'm talking about type a personality doesn't belong to a specific sign but i think that virgos if you're a virgo comment down below i think virgos embody type a personality type a personalities i'm gonna tell you what it means simply it means you have to and not everybody's like this but I'm going to I'm going to tell you the difference. Type A personality is when you like things going a certain way. It's people who write lists, who are very organized and when things aren't their way, it messes up their whole day. It mess it can mess up your flow. You know, it's just irritating to them. You know what I mean? Even when they're doing things for other people and it don't go right. I know me. Like say if I'm doing something for somebody and it doesn't go right, I get so aggravated. Hey, if I'm doing things for anybody else and it doesn't go right, I get so aggravated because I want to give quality when I'm showing love. I want to give quality when I'm helping someone out. I want to give quality. It's hard because, um, oh yeah, what I was saying about, yeah, uh, oh yeah, like type A personalities when you have to have everything going your way and, and not, the, and of course, it's hard because of course things don't always go perfect or your way so when you have that type of type a personality it bugs you when your intentions are not met or your goal or your plan is not met even down to the way your house look or the way you want things and if anything interrupts that it just it it, it messes us up because we're neat people we usually organize people we like to do stuff with love care and class and um we try to make those feel good moments happen for ourselves and for others now see my issue with me is that embodying to make those moments happen more for myself because i am great at giving everybody love class respect i give people their flowers while they do i can honestly say that no i'm not perfect nobody is but if you're in my close circle you know you'll feel the love from me Comment down below if anybody from my close circle is watching this. And am I lying? If I'm lying, I'm flying and I ain't flying. 
boy if you don't get and i gave y'all natural today honey i just gave y'all my little natural ponytail because child i had two fucking cornrows from having my wig on and like <gasps> you just snatched it off on camera like i showed it and i didn't want to come on here like that because that wig was getting on my nerves and i said you know what let me just be me but i threw on a little lashes for a little and a little lip gloss because i didn't want to look dry got my little i just did this fresh set that i just did myself and that's it and this is actually a pajama top um i got this from sheen i'll link it down below it have this and it had the shorts I could have went a size up because the shirt is just right, but the shorts were smaller. So you might want to keep that in mind. If you were a thick curvy girl like me, you might want to size up. I think this one was a size, this one was a size 3X. So I would get a 4X because it don't matter if it's loose. Like if you like my weight or whatever. What the fuck is happening to my eyes? If you're like around my body size, curvy, thick, got a little gut, got tit butt, titties butt, okay, you might want to get a 4X. I'm going to link it below if y'all interested. It's just a nice cool thing to sleep in. I thought it was really cute. I don't have on the shorts because like I said, they're a little on the tiny side. So um, yeah, if you ain't got no ass, don't worry about it. But if you got ass, you want to get a 4X if you are in my body in my body size category thick plus 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 dot com anyway so um yeah so i was recording these so the, yeah that's so yeah that's type a personality so with that being said that revolves around my life so when things don't go right it annoy me and i did not want to force content because if I don't like the way I look or like the video came out, I didn't want to force it just because I was fiending to put out content. Even though I realized I was so many weeks behind, I said, you know what, I'll get it. And today just was a, a feel-good day. It's a Sunday. Praise the Lord. We woke up to see another day. Because um, I be dealing with depression and anxiety on a weekly basis. <laughs> on a weekly basis, you know what I'm saying? So... It is what it is. And it's for many different reasons that it's for many different reasons, but I think I'll get more deep into that another time because there are many great things going on in my life. But the things that, you know, might not be so great or aren't so great, they, they take me down and I want the good things to overshadow that because they should. And I'm working on that. I'm working on it. We all are working we all are working beings. You get what I'm saying? Like we all are constantly growing and we're constantly evolving. At least you're supposed to be. And that's what I'm trying to do. Another thing with recording the videos is environment. I have realized that my environment has affected me wanting to record. I have been in this place for maybe about five and a half years and I'm very grateful because before this situation, I didn't have my own place. Okay, so this is a place for me and my daughter. I'll never forget it and I always love it, but I am not from Queens. I'm from Brooklyn. View the clip. For you, I'm from Brooklyn. I read Brooklyn all day. They killed Biggie. RIP to her because she was so funny. That's so sad that she passed away. So just rest in peace to her and thank her for the good laughs and her sharing her talent with the world. It's been a crazy 2020, 2021, but life been crazy. Don't sleep. Life been crazy. 2020 and 21 just highlighted it and exemplified it to the max for, for everybody to open your eyes the third eye specifically and see what's going on around you but yeah the environment yes um you ever see you notice you see other youtubers and they um they'll be moving you know uh they you know they'll be moving and if you see if you watch a youtuber and you've been loyal from the beginning to where they elevated and started they making money from it and expanding their, their businesses and growing their pockets you understand and getting to that money but if you see them come from the very bottom you will see them elevate and what i'm saying about environment is they move a lot of them move a lot 
now you know what i enjoy the most the vlogs of the moving when you get to see all the furniture all the um the decorating just the moment of that i'd be so happy for them i know my moment's gonna come and that that's so exciting to see and i can't wait for my moment but i had to also realize that so i had to and i'm still trying to make myself realize that my moment is my moment and not nobody else's but you know when you're personally in your own skin you know when you're ready to elevate and you know i'm so sick and tired of being in school but it will pay off and that is something that i will have in my corner you know a, a form of income because as long as you can you know be qualified to work you'll always have work so it won't go to waste but that is not the only form of income i want to have and i'm never gonna settle for just having that i'm i'm not gonna settle for just that I'm gonna settle for just that one income i don't want to you know understand as many more things i want to do eventually having an income from this will be fine if not i'm still gonna venture out and somehow make me some other incomes you know because growing up in the hood and growing up in poverty and and just low income and just a lot of financial problems which my financial problems ain't gone yet because <laughs> i wouldn't be here in this neighborhood told y'all i want to move to the classy neighborhood where they got the elevators and the people that collect the packages who, who, who's the um old school person here cue the bell remember i used to play that sound remember i used to play that sound when i um when I, uh, in my old videos, when I used to be like packages and I show y'all what I got new. If you are OG of the S dot fam, you know that. Comment down below because I thank you so much. But um, like I was saying, yeah. So, you know, just seeing them elevate. But every time, I don't know if y'all notice, when they move and they get to travel, it's exciting to do new content. New ideas come pouring in. But when you're frustrated and you feel stuck. On top of depression and anxiety, you don't really want to record. It's just like kind of was forcing myself. Yeah, the environment. Sometimes it's the environment that could spark. Sometimes you need the environment to spark new ideas and new creativity. Like in here, I feel like there's nowhere to record. I found me a nice cozy spot today. But you know, them other days, sitting in my room, eh, on the other couch, eh. I couldn't get an angle, eh, 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 like whatever. Right now I'm using my overhead bendable projector, what, what the fuck you call it, stand to, that I have my phone on and it's at a perfect angle. You know, because I don't want to give you out a whole body. I give you out from here to here. That's what you get for now. You understand? And that's perfect enough, I gotta say, and just be in a comfortable position. I got my ring light behind it, so I got a little situation going down. Thank God for this Sunday, because when I get to be creative and, and when I get to speak, I feel good because I got something to say. And I always got something to say. I always got something to say. I'm always going to have something to say. I'm going to have something to say. Even if I got to talk to myself, I'm going to have something to say. So you can listen, you can check in, you can tap in. I had to write a few things down because since it's been a minute since I spoke, I have some things to say. Let's get to also with environment change. What excites me and helped me to get back in a creative mood? Looking for new editing apps. You know what I'm saying? I'm When I get a little extra money, and it's crazy because I had the extra money, but I just was in a funk. So I was buying things to make myself feel better. And I should have bought things to um put into my business you get what i'm saying which would be like a camera but i don't be one to fuck with cameras but i eventually am i done had the money several times for the camera so please don't get me twisted but i just would never buy it but uh let's just say camera the the memory card i need a new laptop you understand so much stuff i need you understand could y'all imagine me whipping a car and doing my vlog like that's all going to happen you understand it's all gonna happen like i i can't wait to feel that brave and to feel that free because sometimes i'll be feeling like stuff is not coming to me but why wouldn't it be deserving to me if other people have it we all are human beings with a pumping heart and blood running through our veins ain't no one person better than the other ain't nothing nobody could get and they 24 hours that i can't get 
It's nothing nobody can have that I can't have. And plus, I'm worth it. And I have to tell myself that more. Because like I said, once the depression and anxiety get to you, it can really get to you. If you really, really have it, don't throw the name, the, the word around. But to really deal with it on some serious shit, it's hard. Stay around positive people. Talk positive things to yourself. There's nothing wrong with therapy. You know, watch motivational, motivation, motivational, motivational speeches on YouTube or people that's preaching. Go to church, whatever works for you, but let it be positive. Let it ring of positivity. Even write yourself little notes all over the place. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Excuse me. The fuck? Even write yourself little notes all over the place. Do it. Definitely do it. Do that. Because you have to feel good. And I'm talking to myself as I'm talking in the camera. But I hope this is helping somebody that feel that way. Or somebody that's, that's coming up. You know what I mean? I've been consistent in working on YouTube for three solid years. My channel been up for eight years. But that was just for fun, kind of. It was just there. But I've been working and doing videos since three years. So, shout out to me. Shout out to fucking me. Shout out to me. Consistency. Through all of my life, through all of my problems, through being a mom, through going to school, I still never left. I might disappear for a week or two or three or four at the most. I know that's bad, but I never said F it for three solid years. I've been right here. You can scroll down and look at the history. Matter of fact, to celebrate me, if y'all haven't checked out no old videos, why don't y'all check out some old videos and let me know which one was your favorite. I mean, y'all could give me honest criticism too, but since I told y'all that I'd be a little depressed, y'all could hit me with the positivity. So anyway, new editing app got me a little bit excited to edit. So I'm going to tap into that, tap into that. So that could make me just feel more motivated to do the videos. Um, so the question is, where have I been? I've been right here. <laughs> I've been right here. I just be... Honestly, um, I need a switch up and I'm trying to figure that out because um, as I told y'all, I told y'all vaccinated and unvaccinated people is, is, is in New York right now is certain things you can't do if you're not vaccinated. So I'm trying to figure that out because I want to have a balance of outside, even though I'm not really an outside person, but no matter what, fresh air helps you. It just be the bullshit of the circumstances and just people gonna be stupid wherever you go. And it so um the fresh air helps. Um even if you're a homebody or not. So I'm trying to figure that out without letting it stress me out. Cause I feel like that's what the government wants you to do. They want you to be stressed out and they wanna force you to do something when it should be people's choice. It's my opinion. I'm not changing my opinion for nobody. It should be people's choice. Not judging unvaccinated, not judging vaccinated people, but it should be people's choice. That is my opinion. It should be people's choice. I respect any and everybody. We all people, we make choices for our own self, but it should be people's choice. Because I already know a lot of people just got it because they had to. Backs against the wall, people have to keep their jobs. But I just been here, um, the daily routine of cook, taking care of my daughter, cooking, cleaning, the everyday routine of that can be a lot. It can be a lot and it can be repetitive and it can get tiring. Like every day, like every day or every other day I have a headache. Okay, um, the same routine, the same surrounding. It just gets, it's not like I don't know that things need to switch up. You get what I'm saying? So I'm noticing and then I'm trying to implement a plan that can help me switch it up. Um, what else I want to say? Also want to say shout out to my, some of my favorite YouTubers. Let me see if I could do this on the top of the dome. Um, because I know when I be in a dry spell that YouTubers help me. They help me the most, you know, because they already know what it's like. 
They already know what it is. They already know where it's been. They already know where they're going. You understand what I'm saying? Especially if they come from the bottom to the top. So we have Rissa and Kwan. Love them. Love them. Love them, love them, love them. They just had a baby. Now, let me tell you what I like about them. They exude positivity. Like, to watch them makes me happy. You get what I'm saying? And, um... I like the way they flow. I like the way they feed off each other energy. They're positive and they're actually happy. And that's how it should be. You should be with someone and be happy. I like to see that. I like to see that. Being in a relationship myself, watching their relationship makes me feel good because they're happy. So I feel that all up in here. And they just had a baby too. Shout out to them. Their videos, I feel like they put so much effort into their videos and creativity because there's certain things that they do on their channel I've never seen people do. And you can tell they have fun with it and they're excited to do it. They make you feel like you're right there with them. They're very, very hardworking and they're fairly young. Like, I think they're tw in their 20s or whatever. And I say, I mean, I'm young too, but I'm 34 now. But, you know. So, them. Uh, I like Kennedy Simone. Um, who else? Aaliyah J. Um, Aaliyah Face. Kyra. I'm Unique. Um... I, I watched DDG, uh, The Royal Family with Queen Naja, and um, who else? Maya Prasa. She's so dope, too. Um, I don't leave anybody out. Gold Juice. Love their channel. Um, is there anybody else? Girl 7. You know, she used to be in Bad Girls Club. 7. Love her channel. Love watching her. She's so positive. She make you feel good watching her too. Um, I don't want to forget nobody because I'm going to be mad if I do. I know of somebody else I watch. Damn. Fucking shit. <laughs> it's. Oh, yeah. And uh, how could I forget? She should be all the way in the top of the list. She is a part of my, my top. So it don't mean nothing that I'm saying her just now. She's. I've been following her she's fairly new that i follow she's been on there for a minute but i just fairly new found her like a month or some chains ago she's the bomb um love your natural and she also a rapper bella bars i love her videos so positive so inspiring so motivating so driven so bossed up so she's one of my top of my top i love her videos and her energy and you could tell she really want people to to do well and the advice she gives she put her all in her heart into it so those are some of my favorite people i love to watch um that make me feel really good when i watch them they either make me laugh or they either make me well they make me laugh they make me feel creative and or just you know just a good vibe so i don't know if i'm forgetting anybody if i am i'll put it on a screen or something like that but I'm not trying to forget nobody, but this is just straight off my head. Okay, so let's talk about Instagram polls. Now, I have put the Instagram poll. I asking people, because you know, this is the thing. Support is very much needed. It is, whether you admit it or not. If you're trying to do something, who the fuck don't need support? Even though you could be selling uh, water bottles on the side of the road, you need support, right? Because if you don't have it, you ain't going to sell If somebody don't support you... How you going to make money with the water bottles? You understand? So, it's not wrong for me to want it, right? I give it, though. You understand what I'm saying? It's not something I want that I don't give. So, just shout out to the people that do support in any type of way. I appreciate it so much because... And even if today somebody I know was to be doing, want to do this YouTube thing or any type of other thing entrepreneurship or just anything in general i would support i would support because that shit is hard to self-motivate and even no matter how much you self-motivate self-motivate the end goal is that people support like i said you could be selling water bottles on the side of the road or fucking doing a youtube video you need people to watch to make money Unless you could do it for fun for the rest of your life. Some people do it for enjoyment. I do do it for enjoyment. But obviously, 
it's a revenue attached to it. So why wouldn't you want to make money for what you're good for? You get what I'm saying? So even if you're patient as hell and you've been working on your YouTube 10 fucking years, eventually you obviously, you understand what I'm saying? Or if, if not, then hey, but who the fuck would want to work hard for five years or 10 years and never see nothing elevate of it? I just, it's just unheard of. It's unheard of. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, you know, like I, was, like I was saying, the Instagram polls, it feels good. People, I think people don't understand how good it feels just to have someone respond to what you got going on. Like the Instagram polls is for a reason so that I can see what do the people want to see? You get what I'm saying? Or people that might watch, or even honestly, if you don't watch, if you're watching my stories, how long would it take you to help a sister out? <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie. Obviously, I don't click on everybody's polls and stuff like that. But obviously, if I see you need that poll for something, you understand what I'm saying? I'll try not to skip over everybody's shit. Or I'm not that person that will always be in your stories. And you're clearly asking a question. And I keep coming across you doing things like that. And I'm fucking ignoring your shit every time. Like, why would I be watching your stuff all the time? Whatever. People don't have time. I don't know. But it take a second. And I don't think people realize it's for free just to respond. I'm trying to do this YouTube. And it just helps encourage so much. And you get you get what you give. So if you give out a little kindness and a encouragement to somebody else, it'll come back to you. It'll come back to you. So you want it to come back to you, you give it out. That's just it. That's how I think. Maybe I'm crazy. But anyway, shout out to two of my friends. One of my friends, actually, I used to work with. My other friend is a really close friend of mine. I speak to on a weekly. We used to go to college together. Well, I'm still in college. She graduated. Shout out to you, girl. Or whatever. But yeah, thank y'all for answering the Instagram poll because I'm pretty sure y'all busy as shit. But y'all helped me out just by doing that. So thank you. And my friend that I went to college with, she always bouncing ideas off. She usually always is somebody that responds to my stories or give me an idea or, or watch the video. You get what I'm saying? Like, thank you. You get what I'm saying? Like, and I support her just the same. Anything that she will have going on. You understand? So thank y'all for taking that second to answer the poll. Because the poll acts basically, you know... What videos would y'all like to see? One of my friends suggested the TikTok viral um, food, like a food video from one of the TikTok viral meals. So I found one that I'm going to do. So that's coming. Um, when is it coming? It's coming sometime by the end of the week. It's coming. And then I have another, my other friend said, do like a daily routine, a morning routine or something with Sana. Most likely I'll do my daily morning routine. Um, I don't really put Sana in the video too much. I don't know if that would change or not. She get very annoyed with the camera if she know the camera is on. So that's why y'all see her just walking in and walking out sometime. Walking in and walking out. So I will take those two ideas and thank y'all so much for taking the time to just answering it. And then I had another simple poll that just said, um, are you going to tune into the next video or are you not interested at all? A couple people put no. no. I don't know if they typed it press the thing wrong because you know how the polls go and you just could make a mistake and I don't think you could fix it so I didn't pay that no mind but people actually put yes thank you for that that only took one second of your life I would do the same for y'all like it's an Instagram poll you'd be surprised you can't even get support when this shit is free YouTube is fucking free Instagram polls is free and it will help me out so much I don't know if people think or even care to think I'm just doing this for fun I do it because I love it, but this is a part of what I'm trying to build to make something for myself. So I would just hope people give out the energy they want back because you're going to need somebody to support you in some type of way. So it's nice to give it back. Um, anyway, so that's that on that. Uh, one more thing I wanted to talk about was Vlogmas. Am I going to be a part of Vlogmas? <laughs> yes. In this very special book, shout out to one of my best friends because I love gift bags full of stuff. All of my favorite things. That's all you got to do to get me to smile 
It don't got to be expensive things. Just things with my favorite items in there. Books, pens, um, uh, cos cosmetic stuff. You get what I'm saying? Like uh, lotions and all of those type of stuff. Earrings and all of those type of things. Um, what else? Little press-ons. Like, I'm mad simple. But, yeah. So, this was something in one of my birthday bags. I had it for a minute. It says, Dream It, Do It. I think this was from a couple birthdays ago. Shout out to one of my best friends. She gave me a birthday basket. It was beautiful. And this was one of the things in there. And I have been using it. Okay. So, I put my ideas in here. And, um, let me just read the first page to y'all in the front. It says, hold on, I can't. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, first and foremost. Because he is the one to never fail me. Amen. And that's the first thing in there. And the next thing is saying, basically, if you got to this page, you're in my business and don't do that. You're in my business? Yeah, don't do that. I think I wrote that somewhere in here. Yep. It says, if you see this page, that means you're in my business and don't do that. Don't do that. So ain't nobody supposed to open this book. Even though it's a little to-do book. Only for my eyes. It's for nobody's eyes. Which is fine. You gotta have things like that. So, um... I put my ideas in here. So, yes, I will be doing Vlogmas. I'm in the spirit. Okay? I'm in the spirit. And I'm gonna have some happy days. I'm going to. I'm going to elevate. And I'm gonna tell myself this more and more and more. Because I wanna change my environment. I want to be in a certain setting. Classy. And I, you understand? I want that. So I'm going to get that. And I'm working on that. You understand? Um, so I do have a list here. I wrote all my vlog. Um, I have 10 videos written down just for Vlogmas. And that doesn't even include regular videos that I haven't even done yet. For, um, that I haven't even done yet for my channel. Just in general. Y'all yeah, know I got the second channel. The um, ASMR aesthetic type of satisfying videos channel so make sure y'all follow that the link is in the description <laughs> you'll see it underneath every video okay description box that's the link to the second channel please go like comment and subscribe if you can find it in your heart i appreciate that so much um don't mind my neck i don't know if y'all see my neck i broke out my neck breaks out often and it ain't even from this little fake necklace either because I just put this on today. It's just my skin goes through it. Sometimes I use scented uh, body wash for my body. Not not the cooch, but the rest of the body. And um, my body don't like that. And I still do it sometimes. But anyway, um, so I already have 10 Vlogmas video ideas. So I will be doing Vlogmas. And I'm excited about that because I just want to have a feel good moment. For what I'm, what I'm, what I'm doing. I want to feel good about what I'm doing. I'm ready to be recorded and be happy and use the new editing app and just do my thing. Like that's what the fuck I'm ready to do. <laughs> that's what I'm ready to do. So y'all know I can't. Y'all know I had to really talk to y'all. I came on with a little ponytail. What happened was I did have a my long ponytail in, but that horse wasn't tamed at all. It was very much a wild horse, and I was like, you know what? I'm just coming on with my little natural hair. My little natural hair, I got a little cute little little fro thing going. Little fro baby. So, um, yeah, I was like, you're going to take me as I am today, child. Because this is just raw and as real as it's going to get. So, um, I will be doing Vogmas. I already have ideas down. I already have ideas down. Ten videos. December is in about three days. What's today's date? 28, 29? December is in three days. I have ten videos down. I will be doing vlogmas, so please stay tuned for that. Because I'm working so hard to produce these videos. It's hard. I don't think people understand. If people do, whoever enjoys a person's video and entertain, I don't think y'all understand how hard it is to get in front of the camera. Because just because I choose to get in front of the camera is something I like to do and talk. And I like to edit. You get what I'm saying? But that don't mean it's easy. Just because like, that's like you. If you go to work every day. And you make that coin and you really do a good job helping your customers, your customer service, your customer care. Does that shit mean it's easy? No. You're going to have some hard days because it's going to be some tough clients, some rude ass customers. People going to be trying you. You might be hot, headache, whatever. 
just because you do a good job or you kept going does not mean it's easy and i feel like we all need to support each other and really look at the fact that we're all continuing to keep going every day you have breath is another chance every day you breathe get up and breathe again shout out to god <laughs> every day you get up and breathe again is another chance so but that doesn't mean it's easy. So pat yourself on the back. And most importantly, don't forget to pat your neighbor on the back. You know? Be kind to another person. It'll come back to you. Let's not be nasty. Let's be supportive. Let's be kind. Let's give words of encouragement. I mean, wouldn't it be a better world if it was that way? I'm going to do my part. Are you going to do your part? But anyway, I think I'll come on with one more video after this. So make sure y'all watch both videos. And um, I'm going to do a, a quick second video. It's not going to be as long. Just a little fun little video. So thank you, S.Fam. And make sure y'all stay tuned. I'll be back Ooh, with another video. There's not much to do when all I 